Hello everyone, welcome to Thursday the 13th of December. Um, we have a crazy busy day today. We've got a Christmas corporate event um, and a normal party, well I say normal party, it's Pies and Prosecco in Winchfield, which I'm absolutely buzzing about because we love going to the Barley Mine Winchfield. It's such a beautiful place to paint. Um, anyway, today we're going to be doing a wrapped present. Now we're going to be using our chisel brush and my present today is going to be green. Um, I've got a thing about green, I went to Sainsbury's the other day and I literally just bought so much wrapping paper and I realised the majority of it is green. But anyway, you can do whatever colour you like, you can do any pattern you want as well, but here goes. So I've got the shortest part leading the brush stroke, the longest part trailing behind and we want ours to be 3D. So we are going to, you know, our first line, there we go, and second, make sure that we follow these two lines. And then we have three coming down. One, two, and three. Now these two on the left and the right aren't as long as the middle one. So we're going to join them together. And now you have your box shape, your present box shape. What you can do is we can fill these in. What's quite nice is if you get that brush stroke coming through, it means you don't have to come up with a print for your wrapping paper, unless you want to. If you've got time, then go for it. If you're just doing this as a bit of a festive Christmas creative release, and you don't have too much time, then don't worry. But if you do have time, you can play around with your shapes as well, which is quite nice. You can have some rectangular ones. Some flatter ones. And if you've already done the Arctic Advent for the Christmas tree, then why not combine the two together and you have these sat underneath? There we go. If you are doing that, then I suggest you use another colour to make them stand out at the bottom of your tree. This is a loan present. There we go. on there if you want to you can let this bit dry first um so you don't smudge any of the paint but i'm just going to go straight in for the ribbon i'm going to use red ribbon and i'm going to have right in the middle coming down this red looks so good against this green if you want to use exactly the same colors please feel free to visit our shop um Fun fact, if you've been to our parties, you know, we use a certain brand, um, but actually we um, come up with all the colours ourselves, so we have them specially made. So if you do want to replicate the colours, then that's probably the best way to do so. Is to mark the mind shop there. That's not the plug, I promise. Just widening that ribbon very slightly down, and uh, we want to cross it over up at the top as well. 
you know, have it fade, fading out. Okay. Okay. I'm going to swallow off my brush and the final thing I want to do is a beautiful big red rosette on the top. So I'm going to use my smallest brush, my number six, and I'm going to put one dollop of red and one dollop of white on my brush at the same time, which sounds a little bit nuts, but you'll see why. What we want to do is we want to sculpt and curve around in a circular motion. Big rosette. So the white is just picking up the highlight from sparkly bits from the tree and the reflection. I'll swirl that off and layer it up with a bit more red. There we go. You can do a bow if you like. We have created a bow multiple times, I think a couple of times in previous videos. On the Holly, um, no, on the Christmas wreath and jingle bells. So that white just makes it look like it's just reflecting. And you can have that, you can actually have a little bit of white coming down in your ribbon on the side as well. So you just have a small little bit just going over the top. Very subtly. Trailing down there as well. I'm going to swirl off my brush. Let's add just a little bit more red up here. And there we are. Christmas present complete. <laughs>